Hi, Jason with the Metal Roofing Channel. Today we're gonna to be showing you the installation of the PK-1 peak flashing detail. So for uh, this assembly, we're still gonna make sure that the deck is clean and ready for installation. Uh, the underlayment is installed per the manufacturer's installation instructions. Then panels are installed uh, with the 45 degree boxed end on that panel folded up. Uh, do not cut the ribs when folding the boxed end. Then we're gonna install the cleat on the peak face and fasten with number 10 by one inch pancake head fasteners at eight inches on center. Uh, we're gonna apply 3 16 by 7 8 inch butyl tape to the Z closure and install over the panel using 10 by one pancake head fasteners at four inches on center through the butyl tape. That's maximum spacing. There should be a minimum of five fasteners per panel. Apply a vertical bead of sealant behind the Z closure at the panel rib. Then we install the peak flashing by engaging onto the cleat and Z closure. A minimum four inch lap on peak flashings with the proof sealant in the laps and typically a minimum 24 inch flashing length. Once the peak is installed, we're going to drill through the Z closure at 18 inches on center and attach with stainless steel pop rivets. Then we will remove all swore filings and debris immediately upon completion. Okay, here we are at our PK-1 mock-up. Uh, we've installed the underlayment per the manufacturer's installation instructions, and we've gone ahead and installed our panels. Panels do have the 45 degree boxed end, and now we are ready to proceed with the, with the peak flashing. So you wanna take your peak flashing and set that in place to where that's gonna be positioned and mark out uh, your cleat locations. You can either go directly under or some people like to mark it, mark it at the kick, him and kick. Once we know where the cleat is gonna be installed, You can set that in place and attach with a number 10 by one inch pancake head fastener at eight inches on center. All right, now that our cleat flashing is installed, we re-engage the peak flashing onto the cleat and we mark out our Z closure location. Once the Z closure is marked, we need to remove the peak again. So we've marked our panel ribs. Take that back off. All right, our Z closures have been pre-drilled. Five holes per Z closure, five fasteners per panel. Number 10 by one inch pancake head fastener. They're set in 3 16 by 7 8 inch butyl tape and attached to the panel per the, where you've marked your peak locations. Uh, once again, we're attaching with 10 by one pancake head fasteners. You wanna get good compression on that butyl tape. That's why there's a four inch maximum fastener spacing uh, for your butyl tape compression. go through and install the remaining. Once the Z closures are installed, we put a vertical bead of sealant up and over the panel ribs. Nice vertical bead in there. And up and over. Now we reinstall the peak flashing. Just 
lifting up a little bit, we'll get that to pop into place. Push forward and lift up. Okay, rivet attachment into the Z closure is typically 18 inches on center, but if you're using a smaller panel, uh, it can be under 18 inches, of course. We always recommend center of panel. Center of panel, stay away from the ribs. Definitely do not rivet down through the rib, but even the Z uh, has less structural support on the, on the corner, so center of panel. and then fill those with stainless steel rivets. That completes the actual peak flashing installation. Now you can see all the swarf uh, and debris that we have from drilling the rivet hole. So last final thing is to clean that off. Okay, that completes the PK-1 peak flashing detail. If you would like to see this detail or any of our other ins standard installation details, please go to SheffieldMetals.com and look in our installation manuals. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.